Well, some questions still remain around the EV tax credit. We're gonna go over a deeper dive. Will your Tesla qualify for the EV tax credit? Let's get right into it. The Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 has not been voted on yet, but is slated to be voted on this week. So we should have an answer very, very soon. If you're going to get $7,500 for your new Tesla purchase that must be delivered in 2023. Let's tell you a little more detail. So let's just skip right to it. The Model 3 and the Model Y, the two most popular Teslas and most frequently ordered. So which Teslas will qualify the Model 3 or the Model Y? So a really nice Excel sheet here, an article on Tesla Ratty. Original credit goes to Mad691 on Reddit. So we see here the Model 3 and the Model Y, and you can scroll over this blue section is the new credit. So which ones qualify? So the caps for sedan the Model 3 is $55,000. And again, don't get this confused. This is the base price of the Model 3. So if that price is below $55,000, then you're good. However, the rear wheel drive must meet other requirements. The battery must have at least 50% of the components manufactured in North America. And the rear wheel drive actually has a battery that is made in China. So honestly, not a lot of YouTubers are talking about this. Something that you wanna know that I actually have to correct initially, when you look at the act, it says $55,000 or lower, but when you read the fine print, the battery components must be in North America. America. So because of that, it does not appear that any Model 3 is going to qualify for this Inflation Reduction Act. Let's move on to the Model Y. The long range will qualify. Again, this is a SUV truck cap at $80,000. The Model Y considered a small SUV. So as long as that base price, which the long range and performance fall under $80,000, you will get the credit for the Model Y. So as a recap, as it seems, the rear wheel drive Model 3 does not qualify even though it is put together and produced in North America because of the battery, it actually is disqualified and any Model Y does qualify, the long range and the performance. But let's move on to another really frequently asked question. Some of the most frequently asked questions, you might share some of these. I was going through the comments and number one, will this apply to leases? No, this has to be for a new purchase or a financed vehicle. The lease credit, even in the old proposal, went to the manufacturer or I guess the dealership. And you can correct me if I'm wrong there. But long story short, you will not get the EV tax credit for a lease. What about current orders? When do you have to take delivery? Now, again, we, get, we still get questions on this. If you have a current order, you must take delivery in 2023. Well, what if you don't have a current order uh, out there already? If you place an order right now in 2022, but uh, take delivery in 2023, you will also qualify. Did they vote yet? The answer is no. At the time of making this video, they did not vote yet. It is slated to be up for conversation this week. That's a huge decision. Are we going to get $7,500? Will this pass the Senate? Will this change by the time it does pass? Make sure to subscribe because a lot lays in the balance here if we're going to get that credit again at the point of sale. That's a good segue. When do you get the credit? It is at point of sale. What does that mean? When you pick up your order, that's when you actually transfer money through, I think it's called Plaid. It has nothing to do with Tesla, it's just conveniently called Plaid, but it's a finance app where you can transfer money securely, and that is how you actually pay for your entire deposit, your balance, and once you do that, you can take delivery of your Tesla again um, when you get the credit is at the point of sale or when you actually take delivery, not when you place the order. Could the act change, the Inflation Act of 2022, before it passes? Could it change? Yes, it could change. Could they remove the EV tax credit? Yes, that's why this vote coming up this month is so important. Now, some of the opposition says it's too much spending. So typically, when you have these conversations, they look for compromise. What is going to be removed? Now, we have Senator Joe Manchin supporting and leading this Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. I don't think my prediction, I don't think that EV tax credit will be affected. Again, I do not. 
I think it will pass if there are compromises. I don't think it's going to be affected. So my outlook is this should pass favorably and then we'll have to see what happens next in the house. But stay tuned and subscribe for all of that. So maybe you're someone who wants to buy a used Tesla. And again, these go for all EV or even hybrid vehicles, not just Tesla. But for a Tesla specifically, what if you buy a used one? Well, it's actually a brand new $4,000 credit. So again, this is a similar credit where it's a point of sale. So just keep in mind, if you are considering a used vehicle, a tax rebate um, up to $4,000, as long as your salary is below some of these caps, and we're about to talk about that, you will get $4,000 for the used EV vehicles. So here's what you should do. So two things, the first being, if you have not ordered yet, to make sure to subscribe to see if this does in fact pass, or if you have a trade-in, you wanna make sure to get those updates. Once this does pass, which again, I think we will have a favorable outcome, you wanna think, when should you order your Tesla? Because this is a 10 year plan. The sooner you order, the sooner you get your Tesla. But remember, we talked about this in the other video, the prices may come down because of inflation calming. That's what Elon is looking for. If inflation calms, prices should come down. My prediction is no higher than $3,000. So if that's not really worth it to you, if you are waiting for a higher or hoping for a higher discount, I would go ahead and order. But if you want to wait, and my advice is to wait one or two months. So maybe come November time, at the end of the year, we may see some price decreases. Now you may wait longer because you haven't ordered right now or next week when it does pass, but keep in mind, you don't want to miss out on price decreases. So my advice would be to wait a few months and then order as long as this passes and we're going to see if there are any price decreases. Model 3 prospective buyers. I have a Model 3. I've had it for over a year, driven it 18,000 miles. What should you do? Because we've just seen that now even the rear wheel drive doesn't qualify based on the battery. So these updates are happening all the time. Is that going to change? Is that going to stay? If it does, then what do you do? Do you even get any kind of rebates? We are going to dig into it because as it reads right now, even that rear wheel drive Model 3 doesn't qualify and the long range and performance don't qualify based on the cost of the vehicle. So we're doing a whole series on these EV tax credits because honestly they do change and information comes out daily. So this is a huge, huge week as will next week. So make sure to stay tuned for all of that and do not miss that. It's a huge $7,500 opportunity that you do not want to miss. If you are considering a Tesla, don't miss the links in the description for the very best accessories found on Amazon so you can have them in a few days. The only way, of course, I know you like this content is, of course, to drop a like and consider subscribing. This is Matt from Front to Trunk. We will see you in the next video.